Good morning everyone, it's Mark Wiens. I am in Quezon City and this is a uh, part of Metro Manila and today I'm gonna be meeting up with Rebby who is a friend of mine. Uh, we go way back and she loves to eat as well. So we're gonna do some eating today around Quezon City. Rebby should be here soon and we're gonna start eating. So we're at the University of the Philippines. Is this like a food court or this is this is a student, like a student center? Student center, yes. So okay. you can do photocopies here and then eat as and well. Eat. Yes. Okay. Get everything done. Oh, and we're going to a legendary stall, which is called Radix. They do have a, a series of different Filipino dishes to eat, but one of the I think I think almost everybody who comes here eats the tapsi log, tapsi. right? Yeah. Okay. So we ordered tapsi log, and it comes with rice. The the actual meat is called tapsi. Tapa. Tapa. Tapa, which is from Carabao's meat. Okay, and it's it's cured in vinegar, right? Vinegar and soy sauce. Vinegar and soy sauce. It's cured in vinegar and soy sauce. Then they serve that over rice with an egg, so it's a complete, especially makes a, a good breakfast. It's just three parts, right? Rice on the bottom, the tapa, tapa. and the, the fried egg on top. Mm -hmm. And you can see that's a, a beautiful looking fried egg. They, I think they've just fried it on one side, so it's kind of juicy, still half cooked. So Rebbe douses hers all in vinegar, but I'm gonna just taste it first. Go for it. To, to taste the, the, the flavor of the tapa before adding the vinegar. But I know I'll need the vinegar too. And actually, this is made with karabao, which is a water buffalo. It's a little bit sweet and sour. Yeah. Sweet and sour and salty. Yeah, we'll be good with that extra dimension of sourness. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna douse it in vinegar as well. You need more vinegar? Mm-hmm. You want me to? Lots? Keep going. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going in for the yolk. Oh, mm. oh that's, that's what makes it good. Okay, yolk and everything. Oh yeah. With the extra vinegar, it's really good. It almost tastes like beef. Maybe just with a little bit of a more meaty taste to it. Just finished with that tapsi log, and I just read that they've been making that same recipe since 1949, so it is a, it's a proven recipe. Cheese, avocado, or mango? Cheese? Cheese ice cream. Oh, I gotta have some cheese ice cream. You never had that? I don't think so. What? I've never had cheese ice cream. Cheese, yeah. Okay. Uh, one avocado and one cheese. Uh, wait, you get two scoops or one scoop? No, so you have to tell them if you want to mix it, it's cheese and avocado, or yeah. do you want just... Cheese and avocado. It's a full cheese and avocado. Which cone do you want? The waffle cone or just the... Just the cone? normal. Ito pong normal lang ako. Cheese and avocado po sa kanya. Are you getting all cheese? Just cheese, yeah. <laughs> You're all cheese? Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. And I can honestly say this is going to be my first time to ever have cheese ice cream. Okay, on the top is the avocado ice cream. Yeah, that tastes like avocado and creamy and sweet. But I'm really more interested to try that cheese ice cream, which is on the bottom, so I'm going to have to dig from the bottom here. Did you get a cheese bit? No, I, I don't think I got a cheese bit. They actually have cheese pieces in yeah, it? Yeah, look. Hold on. <laughs> Let me dig into mine. It is a little bit salty. It's kind of a mild cheese flavor. See those two bits? They're oh, yeah. little bits. There are, it's actually they're real cheese. Yeah, they're scattered in there. <laughs> they have little bits of real cheese in it. Oh yeah, I got one. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is definitely cheese. It's a little bit salty, it's sweet and creamy, and that's cheesy ice cream for you. Oh, that's the cheese. Uh -huh. Cheese with, does it look like sugar, I think? Is it sugar too? Mm-hmm. My sugar po, no? Right next to the ice cream stall, there's a corn stall. What is the name of this corn? Oh, cheese corn? It's just cheese called cheese corn? corn? Okay. Cheese corn, yeah. 
So she has the corn boiling and then she, she has some that's already been chopped off the cob. And then she puts it into a cup and got it and, and then just tops it, layers it with cheese, cheese powder. It's cheese powder and sugar. <laughs> My favorite. Hey. All right, thank you. It's pretty sweet, yeah. It's very sweet. Um, and then it does have that kind of imitation cheese flavor to it. Mm -hmm. the, the cheese powder flavor to it. We're going to a place called Mang Larry's, which is legendary throughout all of Manila and especially on campus for serving isao, which is one of the Probably one of the most famous of all Filipino Manila street foods. So yeah. just the chicken and the pork and intestine. And actually we're here right as they open at 11 a.m. So we're here kind of early and I know this place is much, much busier and a lot of people come more in the afternoon or evening. Uh, that's when it's most popular to eat. But luckily they've just opened and I guess we'll be first eating here today. So we ordered up just some chicken intestines and some pork intestines. Just throws it onto the really scorching hot fire grill and they're just gonna, they're just gonna like toast over those coals. It, it takes just a few seconds to grill because they grill it on such a hot fire. And then they put it into a little brown paper bag. I got 10 skewers of isao, which is the chicken intestines. And one thing you gotta check out is the, the size, the magnitude of this jug of vinegar. This is, so the vinegar is full right now. You can see all the chilies at the top here of this jug. And we're here at the very beginning of the day, right as they're opening. But you know that they plan for the amount of vinegar that they're gonna use for the entire day. So they're gonna use this entire vinegar. That tells you how many people are gonna come here when it gets busier later in the day. You can grab a little cup. Put your isao in there. And put your, should I put this in or put the isao inside? Put the isao first. first. All right. You help? Oh yes, please, thank you. I'll put a few of them in here. Oh, those are beautiful. Just, just, um, how do you, coiled up onto the skewer. Coiled up onto the skewer. You can see those grill marks on there. And stick this into the cup. And then you turn on the spigot of vinegar. Oh Anyone? yeah. Because mm -hmm. you want to really soak it in the vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar is one of the ultimate condiments in the Philippines. And not only do they like like sprinkle on a few drops of vinegar, but they like to soak things in vinegar. So with, when you eat isao, you can actually get a whole cup of vinegar and you can just, just let those intestines just absorb all of that vinegar, chili vinegar. Oh wow. Those are delicious. It's amazing. I've never had this before. That's actually good. It's amazing. They're completely clean. They have a, a very wonderful smoky charred flavor to them. And then they're also very not, they're not really chewy. They're not, they're very tender actually. I'm gonna scoot this guy. Cause I wanna, I wanna get some more of that vinegar. They're really, really good. As you keep on eating, you can grab more from the bag and dunk them. Let them let them marinate in that vinegar. I think I can one bite this whole thing. Oh. <laughs> just don't skewer yourself. And then next up, you just want to taste this, the pork intestines. Oh, and these have, this has been sitting in the vinegar for a while, so you can feel how it's heavy. It's just absorbed a lot of the vinegar. I like pork intestines. These are definitely a lot chewier and have a, a lot more of a stronger a stronger taste, that's for sure. That was absolutely delicious. I like the I like the chicken better than the pork. The pork have a bit of a stronger taste and are more chewy. The chicken are very neutral tasting and just taste like they're like natural little skinny tubes of sausage. That's the type of snack that you could just keep on eating nonstop and you could just rack up a whole pile of empty skewers before you even know it. We drove over to, this is a market in Quezon City. What's the name of this market, Revy? What? Lagro Market. Ladro? Lagro. Lagro Market. Yeah. It's a big and busy market. Very busy. And 
very, very local. So there should be some good street food at this market and some things to try here. Like a half a chicken or something? We can order a half a chicken. A half, we can order a half. We it didn't take us long to find some amazing looking street food at the market. And this is rotisserie chicken. I love this rotisserie. It's like a homemade rotisserie. And this is the owner here. It's called Kuya Abe. This street is nice. What is it called in Tagalog? Manok. Lechon Manok. Lechon Manok. Yeah. Which is like roast. Which is like roast chicken. And this is one of the coolest rotisseries I have ever seen. Oh. This is such a... This is motor. That's amazing. Yeah. And rotating this one. So it's, it's, oh, it's connected by power? Yes. Okay. Electrical. Did you make it? Yes, I make it. Very nice. It's, it's not expensive to make this. But it's so, it's so creative. Yeah. And it's, and it works, it functions so well. And that keeps the chicken rotating, rotating all the time. All the time. I cannot wait to taste this chicken right now. If you want to make this, I will, I will teach you how to make this. Thank you very much. Uh, Maybe I can make one in Thailand. Ah, uh, nice. For, for a roasted chicken. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, the beauty of it is that the, the skin, look at that skin. It's like just pure golden, that color is wonderful. Golden blackened skin. Mmm. Not good. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, it's very flavorful. It has a little bit of a, like, salty and sweet glaze mm -hmm. on it, plus maybe it's, some pepper. It's, it's already marinated. What is, what's inside of the chicken? Uh, plenty. Sugar, big salad, soy sauce. It's very, very fragrant. What do you put inside of the chicken? Is that? This one? Oh, lemongrass. Lemongrass, yeah. Okay. Lemon. So there's lemongrass. Lemongrass. There's, there's lemongrass inside of the chicken. Can you taste the lemongrass flavor? Mm -hmm. I can taste the lemongrass. Very good. Nice. Mm. Very flavorful. Sarap. Sarap. It's not expensive. Not there's like, also vinegar. Not like this, uh, the other one. Okay, thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Well Salamat. Done. That was very, very good. Bye. Very good. Thank you. That is absolutely awesome. And not only is the, the grilled chicken, the roasted chicken really good, but the, the yeah, restaurant little street food stalls like that just make me so excited. They get me so pumped because even the, the method of cooking, that um, it's so innovative and so creative. Really cool spot. What is your name? Sophia. Sophia. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? Jamante. Jamante. Nice to meet you. Oh, what a great market already. You kind of come down a flight of steps and this is the fresh wet market area. You can see all the meat, all the vegetables. And I always love walking around fresh markets any country I visit. You get a really sense of the ingredients that go into the, the Filipino cooking and the local food. That fresh wet market was fantastic. Now we just crossed over the street and I am walking around is getting me very thirsty. I'm ready for something to drink. <laughs> All around the world, especially in tropical locations around the world, getting a fresh coconut and drinking a fresh coconut is one of the most refreshing things you can possibly drink. And so, uh, in Philippines, it's called buko, right? It's called buko, which is a uh, fresh coconut, and just drinking the water. He, they have just a, a mound, a stack. These coconuts are giant as well. They're huge coconuts. We've all got coconuts to drink here. 
Whoa, that's huge. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah. The most natural of all. It's oh, it's so good. It's this one is quite a little bit sour, not too sweet, but just extremely refreshing. And you can just you can actually taste those electrolytes that your your body all that nutrients that your body is intaking while you're drinking this. No, I'm just joking about that. But it is it is quite healthy and very nutritious. Once you finish your coconut, they take it and they just cut it right in half, hack it right in half, and then just scrape out the meat. This one is a young coconut, so she just kind of, it's almost like little strands of coconut, fresh coconut. Oh, oh that just melts in your mouth. That's really young, really, it's sweet and rich, but not, but because it's so young, it's very soft. Coconuts are one of the, the ultimate, natural wonders of the world. We're walking through the non-food section of the market now. There's just like an abundance of everything you could possibly imagine from shoes to slippers to rings to DVDs to pants to kids things and umbrellas and pots and then there's rice stalls, uh, raw rice in between everything. There's an abundance of colors and things to buy within this market. I forget what kind of mango this is. Uh, Indian mango. Indian mango ba to? Or yung kalabaw? Ah, this is Indian mango. And we usually just have this with some shrimp paste or pagoong. Okay. And just eat it just like that. Awesome. And so he has just cut up the mango and it's just sitting in water? In just water, yeah. All right. You grab a mango and it's almost kind of it's kind of hollowed out in the center because that's where the seed is. So it has makes like a natural indentation in the mango. And then he he adds in the shrimp paste, a shrimp paste sauce, which in in Tagalog is called bagoong and it's like a a mango, a green mango on a stick with shrimp paste. This looks delicious. I just got some drip paste on my nose. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, what a beautiful contrast. And yeah, the mango is really good and it has a very sour and very crisp. And then the, the shrimp paste is, it's it's a little bit, yeah, it's fishy because it's fermented shrimp paste or krill, it could be krill. Um, and then it's salty. So that really contrasts the sour, sour crispness of that mango. Oh, I love that. That's a, that is a winner of a street food snack right here. This is one of my favorite street food snacks so far in the Philippines. That was so absolutely good, I had to get another one. I couldn't stop at one. Oh, and by the way, this time, oh yeah. It does have a little bit of a, a sharper, spicy flavor to it. I didn't know, we didn't know at first, but he has two types of, of the bagoong, the shrimp paste. One is, more spicy, the more spicy one. Add some chilies to this, that's the only thing that can make it better. Oh, and here are the mangoes. Can I see the mango? This is the type of mango he's using. It's almost like a, it's almost a circle shaped mango. Thank you very much, Salamat. That was delicious. But it's the type of mango that does make your teeth hurt because it's so sour. Hi. Bring the... Whoa. Oh, that looks good. Oh, curry. There's coconut. Oh, that looks awesome. We have stopped at a very small little roadside street food restaurant, a canteen. And this place, actually they serve halal Muslim food, so um, it's a little bit different from the typical Filipino spread of dishes.
this is just a, a place we were just walking past and the food looked good so we just stopped here there area we got some fish curries we got some chicken adobo we got some beans and a vegetable and coconut milk mm -hmm. all right so this is this is a restaurant where you just come and you pick and choose or a street food stall where you just pick and choose you have to lift the lid of the pot yeah to see what's inside and then you just choose whatever you like oh another thing I should just explain is that they they put the plastic bags over the plate so then they don't need to wash the plate yeah. right? so then they just throw away when you're done eating they just throw away the plastic bags and then they can just use the the plate yeah, again they'll recover, and just put it. A, recover it so although that is kind of a lot of plastic bags uh, it does ensure that you have a clean yeah. plate when you're eating so <laughs> that's very common in the Philippines that they do that what should we start with I want to start with you want to try? This yeah, that one, chicken with a that coconut. That one is one, one I really want to try also. That's like dried coconut. Do you think it's dried coconut? I think so, Or is it just right? like okay. desiccated coconut? Yeah, it's chicken, there's the coconut, and then there's also uh, pieces of chili in there as well. I'm going to take a piece of that chicken. Oh, the chilies. Yeah. You can have the chili. Okay. <laughs> All right, mix this with the rice. Oh, that chili. Mm. Oh, that's, that is fantastic. That, that is just pure, like shredded old coconut. So it has a, a very meatiness to it. Mm, and that is spicy with those chilies. It's also kind of peppery. I got a nice pick even though I didn't get chili. These are red beans cooked in like a stew with onions. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had this. Mmm. There might be some coconut in there too. Maybe? Maybe not. Not sure. It has a little bit of a, a fruity taste to it. And then those are, that's just a good, beans are always wonderful. That's just a good like, bean stew. You can taste all those onions that have been cooked down in there as well. All right, fish curry. There are chilies in here too, and onions. I'll add a little bit more of that. You think that's coconut milk? I think so. It looks a little bit watery, but I think it's coconut milk. Oh, that's wonderful. It is coconut milk, but it's kind of watery. It's not like very, very thick, rich. Um, and then the fish is actually, the fish tastes quite fresh and it's kind of silky smooth and then I got a chili in that bite and some onions. That's spicy. The next dish is vegetables in a coconut milk. And these are most, there's green beans in here, long beans, there's pumpkin. Ooh, there's squash. Oh, is that squash or pumpkin? Squash. Oh, squash, okay. There's squash in there. Yeah, a piece of squash. A piece of squash. I'm going for a piece of squash as well. Oh, and there are some chilies floating around in the bottom as well. All right. That's just a, a mix of vegetables all wrapped up. It's kind of like a cross between a soup and a sauce, but more soupy. And again, it's, it's coconut milk, I think, but it's very light. It's not like a very rich, thick coconut milk. It's more of a, a soupy, watery coconut milk which gives it a kind of a light and refreshing flavor. And then the last dish we got is the chicken adobo. Is this that was that adobo sauce. Are those all onions in there? Oh, there is some chilies. Mm -hmm. There are some chilies in there. Excellent. This is awesome. They have everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's pretty salty. And you can really mostly just taste the soy. I don't, it's not very sour like some other versions of adobo that I've had, mostly just salty. So I can really range adobo from sour to less oh, yeah. sour. Okay. Definitely. And there's even in some regions where adobo is dry, there's mm. no sauce. Okay. So it really varies on which region it's coming from. Okay. Everything is good, but mm -hmm. I really got to give it up for that chicken with the. Uh, the shredded coconut. And we were just talking with the owner and this food is from the south of the Philippines in Mindanao, the island, the south. What, what was the name of the region? I'm gonna get it wrong. Atisan ka ulit Mariwa. 
Mariwa. Mariwa. Mariwa. Ayo po, saan po? Anong probinsya? Marawi. 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 <laughs> okay. Marawi. So, the region of this food is from Marawi. In Mindanao. In Mindanao. So that, it does have some similarities with Indonesian food to me. The yeah. taste has some, with Indonesian food or even Malay, Malay Peninsula food. True. It's really, really good. I like it. I like the extra chilies in there and the coconut milk. And she did say there's also coconut milk in the yes. beans. There is, so it does have a coconut milk taste if you taste those beans. Mm. Yeah, it's like an aftertaste of coconut milk for me. Kaya nga eh, masarap. Masarap na ano, mm -hmm. may kagat. Salamat, salamat. That was absolutely delicious. What a stunning meal. And I am pretty full after that meal. Oh, this has been a fantastic food tour in Quezon City. I'm gonna go ahead and end this Quezon City food tour in Metro Manila. I wanna say a big thank you to Rebi for showing me around, for for eating with me as well. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, I'm so full. <laughs> I think my favorite thing, okay, that last meal that we just had, that Mindanao food was excellent. So good. The isaw was good. Mm, yes, oh, my and first that, time eating it. <laughs> your first time to eat it, cool. And now she's a convert, she loves it. I do. And also, probably the most fascinating thing of the day was that rotisserie chicken, I loved it. I love that homemade rotisserie. But that was a lot of good food and just good to hang out. And especially I enjoy this, this local market here at Quezon City. Uh, thank you all again very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, click like. Would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Quezon City in Metro Manila, the Philippines. And thank you again to Rebi. Bye-bye.